Yeah, that's someone else. You can go over an egg. Big deal. Oh, I was gonna make him an egg. Make him so I made him so I can go faster right off the bat. Unfortunately, I can't do it. Let me do it. I got two go over an egg. I was early on. Oh, I'm still early on. I've got a she short swords, right fingers, uh, hand axes, stuff like that. Bell hit. It's the nefarious Sean Syndicate Underlord Slab the Crusher. If he's the one after the saloon, then ending him will end the threat against the Stadler Brothers. Dust settles into an eerie quietness. The Sean Syndicate attackers have fallen. You and the Stadler Brothers are left standing. Do it again. Oh, I can't use. Do my resort dice. Ooh, lesser hunter to lexer. I bet. Oh, I guess. Blindness or repairing. Go through her power gloves.
reason why I try to build so I try to make builds between the race and class. I need shilling. The foyer of the shiny shilling is tastefully decorated in the style of as you rush forward, accountants flee through a back door. Guards never escape. See a false bookcase swing shut, covering the money launderer's escape. Spellcasters. Don't like them. I might build a spellcaster. The false bookcase swings open, revealing the dimly lit corridor on the other side. <laughs> the door ahead is on the other side. Ooh, the money launderers must have prepared well for this day. of guards alert for intruders. I like how they always go after my player. It's always funny. I always thought that's funny that they always go after a player. A storehouse of illicit goods opens for your hands. The accountants use their financial trustee to make these ill-gotten syndicate gains look like legitimate funds. Anything up here? Nope. Nope. Ooh. 
Ooh, that was bad. People's hat is why I break everything. The strong room door is locked securely. You can break it down, but a stealthy entrance will make your mission easier. Alright, so we got a motel hit. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm using, people. I love when I see people go blue. But they had a feature in the settings where the loot would be like, generated by more torch or glass. Thought at one point, but whatever. dealt with. The accountant's fate demonstrates the folly of associating with a Sean syndicate. No chest. There it is. There's no chest. Found it. Throwing dagger. What? There you go, fire drum from the one I have now. Yeah, let's go to the place. Alright, I'll talk to the Ghana guy again.
break into the bank. Yeah, this is gonna You're gonna be taken out of a lot of elementals. Not elementals. <laughs> yeah. Zircon proceeds through the door to the inner vault. This warforged must have impressive connections to walk into a house of Kunderek vaults and lively. It seems the bank alarm has drawn the city guard. Will you need to kill these guards in order to escape?
Security bars are blocking the exit. There must be some way to retract. The last set of security bars retracts, leaving the exit clear for you. Uh, first time I actually did that quest without killing anyone. All besides the... Um... Dogs. The best way to do this for us is go from the top. You found one of the hostages, and your arrival has given her the chance to express her outrage against the Shah Syndicate. The anger on Althea Binder's face shows that she deeply wishes to fight the Shan Syndicate, but her loved ones need her more, so Althea leaves the Binder home to meet her family outside.
Gerald Binder is still visibly shaking as he leaves the Binder home, but he's safe now, thanks to you. Buckwald Binder leaves the house and is now safely out of the Shan Syndicate's grasp. You hear strikes inside, hesitant footsteps, and the metallic hiss of a drawn blade. This plucky elderly woman looks like she's given the Shan Syndicate a hard time. She must be the matriarch of the Binder family. Graymar Binder is now safe, out of the reach of these vile Shan Syndicate thugs. There isn't a chest for this one. Yeah. Well then. There's no chest.
Pathfinder. So this is what a life of crime and corruption can purchase. All the more for you to smash while searching for the Storm Reaver's fresco. Okay. 
You hear gears behind the walls being put into motion, followed by the scrapes of a heavy pan. If the Storm Reaver fresco is an indication of how Zircon acquires his art pieces, then the items in this private gallery are likely stolen as well.
to go for that one and that one. This is the last quest in the chain here, so I'll probably for this one probably call it at night or day. Um, I also got started doing a YouTube channel too. I'll probably post that in my profile or whatever. Um, So if you want to that, uh, this is stuff I'm about to sell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not any gym. Mm -hmm. Not a whole lot in there, but. Uh -huh. voice drifts up from the courtyard. The other gangs must have already arrived.
Talon Dawson is dead. But now you will face the daunting challenge of escaping his mansion. Oh, yeah, you gotta remember. with a final smoot. You find a small chest key clutched in its fist. Hmm. Wait, probably so. Oh, that guy has it all signed for here, too. You've made it out of the mansion, 
but the alleyways are still teeming with enemies. You so will have to fight your way out. Gates on either side of the alley bar you away. Perhaps you could open the door somehow. You may be able to find a path to freedom up here on the rooftops. No chest with tooth in it. Familiar sounds of the marketplace can be heard coming from the other side of a nearby door. You have successfully escaped the tenant. Yeah! 
Thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to call it a day. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'll put the link to my YouTube channel because I've been doing some videos for that. Uh, you know, like Explorer and some other quest stuff. So thanks for watching. Yeah, see you guys another time.